Hey, I'm Keith the Traveller, traveller as an explorer, not as in Pikey, and welcome to New Caledonia. Hey, I'm Keith the Traveller and welcome to New Caledonia and specifically Noumea. Here I am in the capital of this very small country in the Pacific Islands. So what brought me here in the first place? Well, I fancied a little bit of a holiday, take a break from Sydney. So where else do you come apart from a tropical paradise like this? However, the weather is kind of like a bit of a light. Nine days have been here, it's done pretty much nothing but rain. More of that a bit later on though. So first of all, I started in Noumea itself. What have I got about to say that capital? Not a lot to be honest with you. There really is not a lot to talk about, not a lot to see, not a lot to do in the capital. If you want my advice, you're gonna to come to New Caledonia. Generally, just don't really bother with New Mayor in the city itself. Just head straight to the beaches. Uh, what is there to do? It's kind of like a little walking tour. It takes about two hours. You see some kind of old style French colonial buildings. That's about it. There's an area which is called like the coconut, coconut something or another anyway the good thing about that of course is that you get free wi-fi otherwise it's just uh, it's not really much to write home about so what did i do i decided to get out and head over to amity island amity island is about half hour boat ride away small little atoll uh, and there was two reasons three reasons that took me actually one beautiful golden sands with snorkeling although the snorkeling was poor if i'm honest uh, a lighthouse which was actually uh, shipped over all the way from France in the 1800s bizarrely and the world's smallest post office which is actually just a post box so just a bit of a marketing scam. As for the lighthouse itself really get some fantastic views up the top there. 264 steps to the top of course me thinking what a great view it was a great view but once at the top I completely shat my pants it was windy and as you look down there was kind of like holes in the in the slats and I could see all the way down quickly ran up there took some photos come back down but was the view worth it absolutely incredible view up the top there really was worth uh, changing my underwear when I got back down in this trip it included some lunch and after that some local dancing which is basically essentially for local women all relatively good looking basically dancing and shaking their booties all in French because of course I was the only native English speaker on the whole island so I didn't really understand what was going on until they wheeled out this boy it was about 12 years old and it was his birthday and next thing you know they sing happy birthday and then all of a sudden these girls they start dancing around him it was like a private lap dance almost it was wrong considering his age but then all of a sudden i realized it was my birthday put my hand up and said over here it's my birthday as well but sadly there was a bit of a language barrier and i never got the free kind of lap dance which is a bit of a, a bit of a shame anyway amity island was that was about the only time i saw the sun because after that headed over to isle of pines and from then in when it was it was just rain so I was based in a place called uh, Jika Berka uh, and Pascal there was like a really really top guy, a uh, really nice guy but I tell you what it just rained. It was right by uh, Kuto Bay itself, really long sweeping bay that if it was sunny you'd be saying wow what a tropical paradise. In the rain and the gloom it's just dull. I spent three days solidly sat in my room. So what do you do? You kind of read your book, there's only so much you can do that, go on the internet, can't really work wi-fi is so bad so basically just slept and did nothing and then finally on my last day in the isle of pines there was a break in the weather and i was able to head over to the natural pool and this is what i've been waiting for so this natural pool is by the bay of oro and it's kind of like secured because you have the bay and then it filters in and then you've got this big pool and surrounded on either side are these pine trees oh essentially and why it's called isle of pines is because uh, a french person planted the first pine tree in 1741 there's a little fact for you anyway so anyway you walk in and it's kind of sheltered and because it's sheltered it's about way steep at, the, at its deepest it's basically snorkel heaven the fish uh, just come up to you they sort of have a little feed on your skin which is quite nice and exfoliating great place to snorkel the water is crystal clear and lo and behold the sun came out the first time in three days the sun came out and it's just amazing absolutely amazing so if you want my advice go to the isle of pines but just don't go in rainy season in fact actually that's kind of summarizes uh, for me new caledonia beautiful country to come to no doubt about it if the sun is shining 
just don't come in rainy season because it just rains all the time non-stop so what my advice come to new caledonia just don't bother with the rain season otherwise it's just boring boring oh and skip going to new Mia. until then this is me keith the traveler signing out thanks very much Thank you.